Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I didn't know what to post, so I decided to make a follow-up dev blog on my game, Simplay Survival. It is a voxel game inspired by Minecraft, and it will not be a Minecraft clone per se. It will have unique features that set it apart from Minecraft, but Minecraft is one of my main inspirations, along with other games like Vintage Story. And today I just wanted to follow up. I don't have a working demo up yet, unless you count my really old demos written in Python. But today I just kind of wanted to take you into the journey of this first dev blog. So let's get started. Oh, Alright, so how did I start writing Simplay? I started writing Simplay in Python with the Ursina engine. And the problem is, Python is a dream to code in, but it's so slow. So I couldn't really get anywhere. And that was a bummer, because I wanted a fast voxel game that was also enjoyable to develop, not some sort of slow voxel game. And I also don't want a fast voxel game with a code base that is super hard to maintain. So I tried going as far as I could with Python and Ursina, and it didn't take me very far. So that's when I started trying to learn OpenGL in C++. And I learned C++ alright, but I couldn't figure out OpenGL. I understood all the concepts, like vertices and stuff like that, but I didn't know how to implement it. I didn't know how to get OpenGL up and running. It was too much, so I struggled to find a solution. I was tempted to go to a different language, like maybe Rust and Bevy, but I really don't want to have to use Bevy. And also, there's another YouTuber named Tantan who's making a game in Bevy already, so I feel like I'd kind of steal his idea if I did that. And his game is mi Minecraft-like-ish, too, but his is actually inspired more by Cube World. So, I landed on Panda 3D and C++. Why Panda? Because Panda is A, a mature engine, B, it's been around for a very long time, C, it's open source, D, it's owned by a very uh, founded, it's owned by a very whatever you'd call it, it's owned by Disney. So, I'm using an engine maintained by Disney. It's open source, been around for a while, very mature, and you can use it in Python or C++. So I started playing around in Python with it and really enjoyed my experience. And when I when I said that I started using Ursina earlier, Ursina is actually an abstraction of Panda 3D. So Ursina it's basically making Panda 3D simpler to use. But I want to use Panda 3D because I don't want as many abstractions and I also want to be able to use C++. And how did I just think of Panda 3D out of the blue? I just thought about it out of the blue. I was thinking about Ursina and I just realized, oh, Ursina is based off a project called Panda 3D, which has C++ support. Because Panda 3D is actually written in C++ and just has bindings for languages like Python and Nim. So, let's recap. Python is too slow. C++ is fast. Panda 3D is so much cooler than OpenGL. I also don't like game engines with editor UIs. I find them 
too easy to use and I don't feel like I'm growing as a programmer when I use them. They make me feel stupid. And maybe that's a bad take. Like, I get why people use game engines to speed up development. But like I said, I want an enjoyable development experience. Because without a happy developer, you don't have a good game. The developer has to be passionate about it. So that's one of the reasons I chose Panda 3D. And where am I right now? Well, so far, I know how to get a window up and running in Panda in Python. I'm still trying to figure out how to get dependencies in C++ and how to run Panda 3D in C++. That's my tricky part right now. I have mesh generation in a example code thing on my codeberg. It's written in Python, but basically I specify vertices and texture cords and all that good stuff, and it draws little rectangles on my screen. So I figured that out, and I'm really happy I figured that out, because that took me ages to figure out, and I'm so glad I finally got it figured out after ages. So that's where I am right now. I am trying to learn more about C++ so I can excel faster. And I'm also trying to learn more about Panda 3D. Problem is, Panda 3D's documentation is a mess. Like, it's a good mess, if you want to put it like that. I can read through it and understand what they're trying to say, sort of. But I often find myself asking for help in their Discord server, which, yuck, Discord. And I'm trying to convince them to get a Revolt server up and running, because I know there's some people who definitely want to use Revolt instead of Discord, including me. But yeah, I just wanted to make this simple video to explain where I am in development with Simplay, and I also just wanted to get a video out there since I haven't posted in a while. And, by the way, this is my first video edited in Blender instead of Caden Live. I'm going to switch over to Blender. Please tell me how it turned out. I am very curious because I heard a lot of good things about Blender, and I really need to check it out. Anywho, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, Follow me on Odyssey, share the video, all that good stuff. I Last time I checked my subscriber count, I was at 116 subscribers. So let's see how fast I can get to 125. I will love you guys so much. I love you guys so much already. And I have loved you guys so much. And peace out everybody. See ya. Aw, a panda. Cute.